What item is very useful in a zombie apocalypse? But most people don't think about using it? Motorcycle gear, motorcycle pants, jackets, and gloves are designed to prevent road rash injuries and are really tough. Wearing them, especially if you also use the helmet, makes you immune to bites. A good pair of running shoes goes a long way. A book on basic survival techniques. Sort of like a boy's scout's book or something. Tie a rope with any object like a simple padlock. Now you have a meteor hammer or just swing it like a basic flail. A book on local edible plants and mushrooms. Edit. This comment got W-A-A-A-A-Y too much attention. Also. Yeah. Many plants can be misidentified. However. 90% of people couldn't survive off foraging anyway. And if the book gives slightly more chance. Wonderful. Tactical shovel. A tank. Preferably a British one. As they have integrated kettles. A good water filtration device like a life straw or Sawyer Mini. One of them can often filter thousands of gallons of water without a hiccup. You can only go a few short days without clean drinking water, so it's pretty likely that you'd die of dehydration before a zombie actually kills you. I live on the 11th floor. I think I would just take off the staircase railings and pour some sunflower oil over the stairs. Also, a bit irrelevant, but I think a lot of zombies would be walking with their trousers on their ankles. Surely a zombie isn't smart enough to pull their pants up, a small toolkit, few screwdrivers and a hand drill and you can quietly pull apart or mend most things. Also olive oil for both cooking and for leaving a nice slippery patch for any of the undead to fall about on. Combine harvester? Boats. I know some of them have people on big yachts in the ocean but really a small boat on a lake would be safe from zombies. Even a canoe you could anchor in the middle of a lake and sleep in. A bicycle and a slingshot. The bike allows you to cover more gown than on foot and more quietly than anything with an engine. They don't need fuel beyond calories and maintenance is simple. With a little practice the slingshot can take out small game. Squirrels. Birds. Maybe rabbits if you're good enough. It makes very little noise. And you can pick up ammunition. Small stones. Ball bearings. Nuts bolts. Etc. From basically anywhere. A crowbar. Works as a tool in its own right for opening doors and for levering things open and is also an effective melee weapon. Shovels. Can be used as digging traps, for gardening, as a weapon, and burying bodies. Armor is in small metal plates or strong leather. Like a thin layer of aluminum or strong leather would do the trick against bites. Added to normal clothing kinda like steel toe shoes. You never really see someone actually try to build, use any kind of armor against zombies in movies, games. Even a metal armor on the lower part of your arm would make it possible that you can block bites with you metal arm. Cloth. You can patch yourself up if you don't have bandages. Make Molotov cocktails. Clean yourself with it and other stuff. Edit. By cloth. I mean towels. Clothes and any kind of fabric. Using a human-sized hamster ball. Think about it. You'd be safe from getting bitten as you roll around in your personal protective bubble. Just jump in on the trend and get infected. Worst case scenario. You get gunned down. Best case scenario. They find a cure and you don't remember about the horrors that took place around you. Plants. Don't forget the drugs. Adderall to stay awake for days without feeling hungry. Xanax to sleep when and where you want. A bowl. Tactical shovel AAND matches. The bowl helps you capture water and offers you a place to cook and eat. A tactical shovel can be a weapon and tool for hunting and grabbing stuff while you can use matches for making fire. A military cause you never see them. Always in the movie and shows the military either does not exist or are idiots who get killed the night they bring in refuges. Wire cutters. Because lots of media operate under the belief that a chain link fence is a non-trivial barrier. Spears. Everyone imagines using a gun or a sword but in reality spears are the best weapon to use. They're easy to make. Relatively easy to use compared to other weapons. Require less rare materials than other weapons. And most importantly can keep zombies at a distance and minimize your chances of being bitten. Also with some practice you can learn to throw a spear to hunt game. Spears may not be the most flashy weapons. But they are the most useful. Cat or dog food, it's completely safe to eat and usually this wouldn't even be on anyone's zombie apocalypse shopping spree list. So while everyone is killing each other over pizza rolls, sub sandwiches, and brains, here you are with your delicious premium chicken flavored cat food. 
Not an item but place. A garage with lifts. Unless they get smart enough they can't bring down the lifts. You can lift a car and sleep in it for safety. And it's filled with heavy objects to throw and use as weapons. A journal. Can keep track of your supplies and other stuff. Edit. Also can draw boobs to jerk it off to. Common sense. I'd have to say seeds. Or like any form of crops. Farming seems surprisingly difficult to do. And I don't see a lot of the movies really trying it when it comes to survival. Maybe I'm just an idiot too. IDK. Medieval armor. I would like to see zombie trying to bite through that. Towels. Nobody thinks about wrapping their arms in them. Try to bite through a towel. Zombie. A bike. It's fast. Silent. Uses no fuel. Is able to move on blocked roads and can be easily carried if you have to proceed on foot. Chain mail. The types they use for sharks would be awesome. If a shark can't get through then a zombie has no chance. A Swiss army knife. Or multi-tool. Everyone always goes for the shotgun or baseball bat approach. Or some of these fine people here mention great ideas like spices or a suit of armor. I'm telling you. As an engineer. There's gonna come a point in the apocalypse where you need a multi-tool. You just will. Running. Seems like the zombies are moving really slow and yet nobody in the movies thinks about moving faster. Simple redneck mentality if it starts in a small backwoods town the zombie will get killed and that'll be that. An axe and a bicycle you see H cover a lot more ground on a bicycle and you can also chop heads real quickly. A still. Purify water and make booze. Win, win. A boat. Where I live there's a lake with a ton of islands in it. I never get why they don't get themselves surrounded by water or at least stick to a river. It would provide a lot of things needed. Water, fish, access to larger game that comes to drink. It would muffle sound and cover tracks if you walk in the shallows. The power of decomposers like mushrooms or a pet vulture. If you had a pet vulture, you wouldn't have to do much other than give it water and keep it healthy. The vulture is hungry, just let it fly around for a bit. Best case scenario it eats a couple of zombies by where you're staying. Worst case scenario birds can get infected. And now you have a zombie vulture on your hands. Throwing mushroom spores on a horde of zombies could be a good idea too. You probably don't suffer any risk yourself of getting a fungal infection. But since zombies have no immune system and are rotting. Mushrooms could thrive on a group of zombies. Throwing spores on zombies wouldn't save you immediately. But it may be a good idea in the long run. Best case scenario the zombies have an outbreak of their own and millions of zombies are decomposing faster due to being covered in fungus. Worst case scenario you fucked up and now you have the last of us. Condoms you don't want any zombie aids do you? If the recent apocalypse has proven anything. It's toilet paper. A tall building. Just throw yourself off it and to fuck with all that survival bullshit. Stilts. They can't reach me. I am inevitable. Edit. I came back two days later to find that this got 200 upvotes. Thanks guys. This is my most upvoted comment on Reddit. A water filter. I get it writing zombie survival schlock is not fun if you have to think about a source of clean water for your characters. But remember humans have a daily need for water and nobody wants to die of stomach cramps when a zombie is chewing off your leg. Get one that can filter viruses and run it through a carbon-based sore filter and blammo. You have good stuff. Spices. Basic spices. A glasses repair kit. If I break my glasses during a zombie apocalypse I'm most definitely fucked. I'm surprised nobody has mentioned a compass. You can guarantee GPS will be down and navigation is so important. You could also throw a map in here too but I'm guessing they wouldn't be too uncommon and you'd probably want to avoid densely populated places which maps tend to cover. But yeah a compass is so important. Treadmills. Fat friends to leave behind. Crowbar. Light enough to carry. Gets you access through locked doors. Efficient melee zombie killer. Basic gardening tools. Potatoes. You can grow close to 100 lbs of potatoes in something called a potato box. Which takes up only a few square feet. Potatoes store well. And while you would need to find a way to get yourself vitamins and protein so your muscles didn't atrophy and you didn't die of scurvy. Calories would not be an issue after about 60 days. Make it that far. And you're in the clear. Just a long sharp stick. Everyone wants to run around with katana and machetes and shotguns. But literally the best weapon is the one that has the longest reach. 
and can easily penetrate the brain. Just grab a broom and sharpen one end. Bam! Perfect zombie weapon. Longsword. It doesn't run out of ammo and you can strike without getting too close. I never understood why people didn't just get somewhere up high with only one door and no windows facing the hallway. So, for my very useful item, I choose a hotel room key. An attic. I don't know why survivors don't just hide in the attic. Zombies aren't going to recognize that small square in the ceiling that you use to access it. And if they did, they wouldn't be able to reach it without a ladder. The ladder is in the attic with you, out of their reach. Maybe I'm missing something though it sounds almost too simple. Salt and sugar. Salt cured candied food is more calorie dense, easy to carry while traveling, and lasts years. A saucepan. You can cook, you can kick, you can store stuff in it. I read a post about wearing biker material, if it's roadproof it should help you out with close encounters of the zombie kind, plus you will look badass, always important in an apocalypse. Floss. Gingivitis doesn't take a holiday. Friends. 